Hey everyone, Valent Versatile here with another GTA 5 Online guide video. This time we're going to be talking about ways that you can rank up fast without any startup cost, so little to no money spent at all. So right here I'm in my interaction menu checking my daily challenges and weekly challenges. So when you do your daily objectives, all three of it, you'll get 5,000 RP and 30,000 in cash. And if you do them consecutively for seven days you will get a bonus 20,000 RP and 50k cash if you continue up to 28 days it will be 50k RP and $750,000 not bad but many of you probably don't have time to log in every day to play GTA or maybe you don't like some of the dailies etc etc so you know, don't stress about it. If you don't like to do the daily objectives, no problem. We're moving on to the next one. Right here, I am looking around for G's Cash. Now, G's Cash will net you about 2,000 RP. And it's between 15,000 to 22,000 in cash depending so on average you probably get about 17 18 K uh, from the cash but that's not what we're focusing on these methods are easy ways to make our uh, gain RP fast as a beginner no setup setup cost whatsoever like mentioned Moving on to the junk energy time trial. This is the next daily objective, uh, daily activity you could do. So this will get you 1,400 RP. It is not a lot of RP, but you will make 50k cash as well. And this job takes about three minutes to complete. So for a couple of minutes every day, that's not bad, honestly. So definitely try this out. So. For the time trial, junk energy time trial, you just put on the bicycle, you just need to go checkpoint to checkpoint and beat the par time. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Moving on to the next daily activity you could do is the junk energy skydives. There will be 10 around the map for you to do every single day. Each one of these skydives can earn you up to 2,500 RP and $5,000. Now this one is a bit more challenging. Uh, this is a series of parachute challenges. So the requirements to earn the maximum of RP and cash for this is a bit tricky. You need to hit all the checkpoints and you need to beat the challenge time and you need to make sure you do a perfect landing so you know don't like trip over uh, when you land so this one is by far the trickiest uh, daily activity to do as a beginner and when you actually fail or mess up near the end it could be pretty annoying because it doesn't actually put you back to the starting point of the skydive so I want to recommend if you know you're going to fail immediately um, just respawn yourself and try to redo them again next up we have the G stash houses now this one doesn't earn you a lot of RP but it's a very quick and easy mission to do you might as well do them it's 1000 RP and 30,000 in cash when you don't have a business however do keep in mind that if you have a business you don't earn a lot of cash and you don't earn a lot of RP at all. You only get 100 RP and 500 in cash, which is pretty pathetic, honestly. But since you have a business, you're probably doing well and you don't need the RP in cash. What it instead does if you have a business for the stash houses, it refills a full bar of resupply for free. So in that way, it's very good for making money through your business. But as I said, this guy is mainly for beginners. So you probably don't have a business yet. So yeah, 
The stash houses just kill everybody inside and then look for the safe codes uh, on the little yellow sticky note. Enter the safe code into the safe, exit and leave the area and you're pretty much done. Next up on this uh, daily activities you could do, you can come to the Diamond Casino and Resort right here. It's right here at the top right of Los Santos with the diamond icon right there. Just enter the casino, there'll be a lucky wheel for you to spin. So this is not the most consistent way of earning RP, but yeah, according to the lucky wheel rules, you have 5 in 20, so that's basically 1 in 4, 25% chance to get an RP uh, related reward. So, moving on to the RP event week. So, every week, be sure to check out the Rockstar Newswire to make sure you know what activity uh, has a uh, double or triple RP for this week. It's the Simeon contact mission with triple money and RP for Simeon contact mission. So be sure to check your job list and uh, do your Simeon contact missions this week. So speaking of contact missions, we segue nicely into um, you know doing a contact mission. So make sure to set your difficulty to hard. It'll give you the highest amount of cash and RP with the 1.5 times multiplier. And this week only with the Simeon Contact mission, you have the triple money and RP. So that's going to net you a lot of money. Now, assuming this is multiplicative, so uh, we have the 1.5 times multiplier. And then after that, we multiply that by 3. So we get like... A lot of money and RP after we completed this mission. Speaking of contact missions, uh, some uh, highlights for you the first dose missions and the last dose missions are pretty good. Uh, missions in term of reward money and reward for first time bonuses you get a lot of money so I thought I'd bring it up and mention it right here in this video but as I've mentioned I'm focusing on RP for this video but I thought I should mention that the those missions are pretty good for what they are and they are contact missions another uh, contact mission I want to highlight was the ULP uh, missions that you can start up so if you go head to the big yellow U on your map which is in front of the IAA building you can start up the um, ULP missions the ULP missions will give you 25 uh, 24,000 uh, in cash and 5,000 RP so this is definitely good contact missions to be doing to uh, help you rank up fast as a beginner as I've mentioned this can be all done um, with little to no cost and I forgot to mention earlier in the video that it is you can be done solo for all of the activities and some of the activities can be done cooperatively so if you have a couple of friends they can also help you out on some of these missions like for contact missions for instance Coming up next, we have VIP work. So register as VIP doesn't actually cost you any money whatsoever. So these are really good jobs, really quick jobs to earn you a quick RP and quick cash. So we've got hostile takeover earning you 1,700 RP, hit hunter at 2,300 RP, and finally we have sightseer at 2,400 RP. 
all of these three activities are really quick and easy to do and net you a good amount of cash for the time you spend on them as well so I totally recommend this and you can totally do this alone or with your friends um, So one thing to take note is that every time you start a VIP work, they will have a 5 minute cooldown every time you finish one. So keep that in mind. Um, what you could do is, you know, fit in a headhunter or this VIP work or whatever in between your activities to maximize your RP and money uh, while you're doing something. So, you know something something to think about like to fit into your routine to earn you that extra rp real quickly and that's gonna be it for the video i don't want to make this video any longer than i have to so if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and share and i'll catch you all later peace out